Hey everyone, so I am going to do Get Ready With Me using the Cargo Palette and I'm also going to announce the winner of the giveaway from my um, cohorted uh, Beauty Box giveaway um, and they are going to actually win, which you probably saw, this palette. It's not this exact one, I have a replica um, that I'm giving away so I have a duplicate but it's exactly the same palette because it, it comes from the same it's the same palette basically. This one I got from my cohorted beauty box um, and the other one I had bought the same day as it arrived. So it was really odd but I thought I'd give it away anyway. Um, I thought it only fair to do that. I don't need two, do I? No, I don't think I need two. Anyway, um, I just wanted to do a very quick get ready with me and uh, show you how I use that palette, my, my kind of favourite colours in there. Um, and there's a few other products that I kind of want to go through as well, but I'll be as quick as I can because it's quite annoying to... I think that long Get Ready With Me's are too long. But then I, I always, I'm always long because I kind of chat at the same time. So anyway, specs off. As you know, I can't see a thing without them. Um, I'm actually going to start with the Fit Me Concealer, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer on uh, under my dark circles. Basically, I've been using this because it's slightly yellower than... I picked it up and it was the wrong colour anyway. It's slightly yellow and darker. But it does work very well on any dark circles. You could tell they're really dark. Um, and I even put it on the tops of my eyes because I've got, like, quite pigmented um, eyelids. And I want everything to sort of be the same colour and the same base. So I put that there. Now, I usually have a green concealer that I use on my cheeks to kind of get rid of the rosiness, but it's not essential. So I'm just gonna use my Beauty Blender. I love this. It's perfect for evening out the skin. Actually, this needs a bit of a dampen again, but you know, it's all right. And it does need a bit of a wash, but you guys don't mind. So yeah. I mean, that's not too much of a difference, that colour, but it isn't right for when I'm putting on my makeup. So I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Foundation um, in porcelain. I think it's N110. I use two pumps. It's probably a bit too much, but I like to ensure I've got full coverage. But it's very buildable. It's the perfect colour for my skin, I think. Um... I like to be, if I can, I'd rather go lighter than darker because I could darken it up with other colours. But I do feel that porcelain colours work really well on my skin, especially if I'm matching it up to my neck. So, yeah, I prefer them. Um, it's probably the completely the wrong colour, but I just can't help it. I always think that I do look this pale but when I'm <laughs> now I can sort of see in my viewfinder sort of because I'm blind that maybe I'm not too pale I don't have much battery on my camera actually so I'm gonna have to make sure I do this quite quickly so yeah I use two pumps I try and it's just uh, evenly distribute this over my face this is literally the best foundation I've ever used I think it looks flawless, it stays forever. And if you can get your hands on some, I would definitely recommend it. I would definitely recommend this foundation. And it's taken me a while to find uh, a perfect foundation for me. Still looking for the perfect concealer. Oh, but um, I am really enjoying this one by, it's the Lasting Finish Rimmel one. I don't know if you can see. Um, I hope it's just my eyes that are blurry, not the camera. That would be really annoying, wouldn't it? It's like a hard concealer. Not many people would like keep putting their fingers into that, but I don't mind, actually. I'm just going to take that and put it under my eyes. Just dab it there. And then... I don't feel like this crease is on me at all. Um, and I feel like it gives the right amount of coverage. So I quite like it. I've heard other people say they don't like it, but this is definitely one that I enjoy. So, as you know, my favourite product, 
to use as a powder is the Java Rice Powder by Bourgeois. Highly recommend it if you haven't tried it before. It smells like roses. I like rose scented things anyway. The funny thing is, is I really hate rose syrup. You know, like, have you ever tried rose syrup? Uh, Turkish Delight flavour rose. I hate that. I'd rather not have it. Oh, whoops, there's a... I've not planned that well. There was um, washing on the radiator and I've got all powder over it. Whoops. I'm going to get told off, I think. <laughs> well, we won't tell anyone, will we? So that's the Java Rice Powder, which I love. And, oh, I've forgotten something. I hate it when I do that. Um, so... I'll have to make do with something else. So uh, I'm going to use, instead of, because I've forgotten my primer, I'm actually going to use, um, I've got a highlighting cream to powder that I'm going to use instead. Seems really weird, doesn't it? It's just I can't bother to edit videos. So this is the Essence Highlighting Cream to Powder. Um, and it's really lovely, actually. I really like it as a highlighter. I'm going to use it on my eyes as a primer today. and see how it weathers. It probably isn't going to be as sticky, but it'll be a good enough base, I suppose. Because it goes to powder, doesn't it? Oh, well. It's um, really light. It's very creamy. Perfect as a highlighter. In fact, I'm going to put some the rest of it on my cheeks now. I don't know why I'm holding my brush. That's really weird. Okay. So, uh, primer on awkwardly and I'm going to use um, well first of all I'm going to use my Naked 3 palette because I'm using that in my Project 10 pan in fact I've uh, I've finished that challenge now and I have hit pan on one that wasn't in the challenge which is really annoying I've managed to hit pan on Strange here but I didn't manage to get it on Nuna, even though I've used it just as much as Strange. Because each time I use Strange, I use Nuna. And I even use Nuna as a contour shade now. So, bit it's a bit weird, really, that I just can't get it to, to go anywhere. <laughs> and then... Speaking of Nuna, I'm going to use that in my crease because I just love it as a crease colour. It's like a mid-tone, neutral, it's kind of a taupey, mauvey colour. And it just works wonders in my crease. I have to say it's been my favourite crease colour. The funny thing is, talking about crease colours and all this, but... If you'd have asked me, I don't know, six months ago, I'd have gone, what the hell is that? Sounds a bit wrong, putting something in your crease. You know what I mean. So, yeah. But it works. It sort of contours the eyes, doesn't it? You put in a sort, sort of matte colour into where your brow bone should be. And, and then you do the rest of your eye makeup, which I really like. So, I'm going to use, oh, okay, so this, out of this palette, um, I'm going to soften up the crease a little bit with this colour Autumn. I really, really like Autumn. It's a lovely, um, sort of peachy colour, and it, it kind of brings, warms up the crease colour a tiny bit, which I really like. These are so pigmented, though, you don't need a lot. As you can see, and then put that on top of there. I do love it though, it's such a beautiful colour. You could use that on its own, but it's just such a nice sort of transition colour. I like it a lot. Um, and then I'm going to use a paddle brush, a flat paddle brush, and I'm taking the colour crisp. You can see I've already made a dent in it, and it's quite messy because it's slightly, well, it, it's slightly powdery, it kicks up a bit of dust, but it's because it's quite pigmented and I guess that's what you can, most of the ones that I really like are like this. So, as you can see, 
it is such a beautiful golden highlighty colour. I like to take that all over the lid and sort of into the corners as well. It does kick up a lot of dust. In, it doesn't fall on your face though, but it does kick up a lot of dust in the actual palette. Okay. Such a brightening colour. It's actually quite nice as a base. Okay. And then I'm going to take the colour Cinnamon here, which is just a stunning bronzy gold. I'm just going to put that here on the edge. Don't worry, I will be blending these out. It's not um, not going to look totally like this. And then here as well. They're so pigmented, these eyeshadows. They're just so beautiful. And they give such a lovely finish. Right, so I don't think I bought a, a very good blending brush with me, but we'll give it a go. So I'm just going to blend all those together because, you know, it just, otherwise it looks too harsh. Um, I'm using my Naked 3 palette brush because I haven't got another, I've not come very prepared as usual because I'm, I always try and get the best lighting. So, you know, as it's, it's evening, it's, um, it's difficult to get the best lighting really in, in bedrooms and stuff. I'm just going to take a bit more of Strange from the Naked palette and put that up here and sort of blend it in. Such a beautiful base colour this, it's so nice. It's a really good brow highlighting colour for me. It's um, the, the right side of pink for my skin tone. And then I'm going to take the Cargo Vintage Escapes palette and I'm going to take my deluxe crease brush and I'm going to use the colour, um, I don't know which one actually, I might use, let me think, I think I'm going to use chestnut, this really dark brown here, I'm just going to lightly tap this in there and lightly tap it here to just deepen up what I've done because otherwise it just, it's too much. Lightly tap and lightly tap here. The good thing about this, you can really push it into the socket. And if you're not somebody who is um, confident in using crease colours, etc., or doing the outer V, I always feel like this gives you a really soft sort of um, colour on the eye, which I really like. So I'm actually going to leave my eye makeup like that and I'm going to add my um, mascara if I know, oh there it is. The mascara I'm loving at the moment is this Primark PS, Primark PS Love Lash Defining Black Mascara. It was £2 and it is the best mascara I've ever used. It does not clump, it elongates my lashes, I can get right into the edges here. It doesn't flake, it comes off very easily. Some of the ones that are like this that I like, they crisp up on my eyelashes and my eyelashes feel really hard and it really hurts to take it off at the end of the day. But this comes off so lovely. Oops. Excuse me, I've got a bit of hay fever at the moment so that's why I'm sniffing constantly. And yes, I do take antihistamines but I just, they're not, they're not really working. I'm just allergic to a lot of things and this is, hay fever is one of them. So, I will show you, hopefully my battery's still okay, yeah. oh no, yeah you can wipe it up really quickly as well and easily without it ruining your makeup, right so just going to do the bottom lashes, sorry if my eyes are in there and not, you can't really see it. I'm so blind I have to get so close to the mirrors and then this one it's just gorgeous this I love it if um if you haven't tried these mascaras I really do recommend this one um 
if you like volumising, this might not be for you because I don't like volumising mascaras personally. I think they make my eyelashes look really clumpy and that's not the sort of look I like. You know, but that's that's just me and that's my preference and I think everyone has their own. So I'm just going to take my um, contour brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to dip it into, kind of stroke it into Nuna. Luckily it's so small that it fits in, the, in Nuna. And I'm going to create a contour on my face with this colour and it works really well. Obviously you don't get to see it all over the face. It's not too dark hopefully. Um, I do blend it in afterwards. I, I think this is such a good colour if you're not confident in uh, contouring because you can't really mess it up. You can sort of get it on your cheek or wherever you really want it but I don't think it's one that you can easily mess up. Now I do it in that three motion. If you don't know about contouring it's good to do from your temples bring it into your cheekbone and then bring it down. I've got a little bit of redness there actually so that probably doesn't look so great. Um, and then, oh my eyes really watering after that. I paint myself with a mascara brush which I really hate doing. Um, and then what I do is I just take it at the end and I shadow down the side of the nose so that it gives it the appearance of being a little bit less pointy. No, flat. <laughs> I want it to be a bit more pointy. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of the highlighter and put that on the middle of my nose. It's quite a lovely highlighter. Um, I'll put a little bit more on my cheeks, but only a little bit because I'm going to cover my cheeks with a blusher. And I'm using the Essence. That was the Essence highlighter. It's called So Glow, which is amazing. Um, and this is the blush, blush Up. It's a... Um, I don't know whether you can see that. Yeah, there you go. It's a um, ombre blush, which I love. How good is that? I take a blush brush. I'm going to swirl it around both of the colours. And I'm going to lightly dust that on my cheeks. Don't worry, this is not the finished look. I'm, I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to use this big fluffy brush by Real Techniques and literally blend all of that out with it because that seems to be the best brush for me when it comes to blending out. Such a beautiful blush that just the right side of pink I think. I think. I can put my glasses on now anyway. Oh, actually, no, I won't because I like to finish my makeup off without them. Okay, so I'm going to take my Ace of Diamond Lip Pencil by Kiko Cosmetics. This is um, a future colour. It's so stunning. It really is. And it's a perfect match for the lipstick I'm going to use. So... I'm going to take it all over the lips I love that it's creamy enough that you can put it on both lips without having to draw the lines on and then I'm taking Uptown, Uptown Mauve by Milani it's so beautiful it smells gorgeous uh, and this is just It's just the most perfect colour. I don't know why they're calling it mauve. I definitely wouldn't put this in the mauve category. It's my, it is honestly my one of my favourite lipsticks at the moment. I highly recommend it. I think it makes your teeth look really white. And it's a really good addition to this look. So I'm going to pop my glasses on so I can see what's happening. Let's have a look. Yeah, we are now on nearly 20 minutes of filming. These are filthy. That's disgusting, isn't it? I think I say that every single time I film. So yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video. And the winner of the Cargo Cosmetics palette has been put in the link below. If you don't get in touch with me in the, within the next week, then I will be um, randomising again to get a new winner. But yes, well done to you. If you have won the other Cargo Vintage Escape 
palette I will send that to you as soon as you've been in touch thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already um, leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this get ready with me and any of my get ready with me's actually I've, I've enjoyed doing them a bit more and I look forward to seeing you in my next video